even today's society with um, a lot of the kids, social media, of course, you know, we don't know all the stuff that's being out there, but we're constantly feeding ourselves with, you know, all the memes and like, you know, people making fun. And we work with all these celebrities, all these artists, and even we'll have, you know, little conversations about some of the things that people are saying to them in their in their comments. You know, if they post a photo, it's like everybody has an opinion or everybody's has something to say. And you see the clapbacks and you see all that and you don't know what that really does to a person that may not have, you know, the best self-esteem or they're insecure um, and what that really does to a person. When we hear stuff like, oh, you know, she, Mary J. Blige makes the best music when she's sad or, you know, I liked it better when they was like going through it. Um, it almost feels as if we're watching animals at a zoo. It's like, entertain me, do the thing, do the thing that makes me cry. And if the, it doesn't matter if it hurts you. It doesn't matter if it takes you out of your natural environment. Do the thing so then I can, you know, be, feel like, oh, you entertained me now. Now I'm entertained. And we get to go, we get to press play and stop and go back to our life as we know it. And these are real feelings and emotions that this person is dealing with. And I think that we just have to do a better job of embracing artists for their artistry and not for their their downfalls and not for their stress or depression it's like we love to see them going through it and not because we get to say oh my gosh she's going through what I'm going through but because we're like watching in a looking glass like what are the animals going to do now that's going to make me feel like oh this is enough to entertain and satisfy me 